President Moon Jae-in has called for a grand compromise between labor, management and the government to achieve his administration's policy goal of income-led, people-centered economic growth. Our chief Blue House correspondent, Moon Gan Young, has the details. Together, we go further. A ceremony at the Blue House celebrating the inauguration of a foundation dubbed Public Co Prosperity and Solidarity Fund, with roughly 120 union leaders and representatives of organizations that have set stellar examples in labor management relations. This nonprofit foundation was created based on a social solidarity fund raised by the voluntary return of incentives from workers in the public sector and financial industries following the abolition of the previous administration's performance based wage system. That amount has totaled 147 million U.S. dollars, which the foundation plans to spend on improving labor conditions for non regular workers and creating more jobs. South Korean President Moon Jae-in welcomed the move, noting sound industrial relations and effective social dialogue are key to achieving his administration's goal of people-centered economy, one that's free of extreme economic inequality and social polarization. 그러기 위해 조금씩 양보하고 짐을 나누고 격차를 줄여가는 사회적 대타협이 필요합니다. 특히 노사정 대타협 없이는 우리 사회의 지속 가능한 발전이 불가능합니다. The South Korean president added, in order to achieve many of his administration's policy goals in realizing inclusive growth, where the benefits from growth are evenly distributed to the people, this compromise is absolutely critical, and the single most important factor is having faith in the government. Give it a year, he said. Just one full year of support from both the labor and the management, and we'll prove to you that our policies actually work. We'll make sure that all actors in this relationship, the society as a whole, reap the benefits from this government's economic and labor policies. Now, that's a message from this president as he kicks off his first full year of administration in a little over a week. Moon Gonyo, Arirang News, The Blue House.